Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. My name is Jenny and today I wanted to chat with you guys about some of my fall favorites. I have quite a few items to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started because I feel like this video might be a little long. I wanted to start off with fashion because I have a few staples here that you guys have probably seen in my videos and I just wanna go ahead and get those out of the way. So the first thing is my sweater that I will be wearing all autumn long, all fall long. <laughs> so this is by Express and this is kind of like a just like a three-fourths sleeve and it is black and it's so fuzzy it has like a really nice fuzzy material and it is made out of polyester so um, if you guys are going to like dispose of polyester just make sure you take it to a donation site first and then if they can't sell it they can go ahead and do whatever they want with it but just make sure you take the extra effort because polyester is really hard to decompose I believe so like whenever I get um, clothing items I just kind of try to get staples I don't like to get trendy pieces or pieces that I know are not gonna last me for a long time and this is just such a classic and like just timeless piece it's just like a black a black sweater and it's not like hooded or anything so I don't have to worry about messing up my hair I can just throw this on walk to the gym and then I'm good to go like I don't really like I don't really need to carry a lot with me you know so this is just perfect for that so I love this with just some leggings my Nikes or even the next pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys so these are my Supergas. It is no secret that I am such a huge fan of Supergas. I just ordered like two more pairs because I really love them that much. And these are just so classic and timeless. These are just white sneakers and that's what they look like. The bottom is pretty dirty so I'm not going to touch them or anything. But I've had these for not that long and I, the way that I walk I have scoliosis so one pair of shoe will always get more wasted than the other. Yeah, if like the bottom looks uneven that's why. But I love these shoes. They're so classic. They're so like just easy to wear, easy to match with things. Um, I actually want to get my friend Mimi a pair because they sell them on the Express website and I just thought like it would be like a really cool thing to get her because we can match and I just love the shoes so much that I want someone else to have them as well. So I'm really, I'm just like so happy with them and I'm so happy that I found them. I originally saw them on the Princess Polly Boutique website but then I ended up purchasing them off of this Perga website because if you sign up with Zaperga, you get 20% off and so yeah, I just, I, I'm so in love with these shoes. Like I love them so much. The next item I wanted to show you guys is of course my Prada bag. I can't do an autumn favorites without showing this bag because this bag has been like the like the mother of all of my outfits. Um, everything matches with this. Everything fits in here. I did a what's in my bag recently. I will have that linked above. I will also have it linked down below. I also filmed a reveal on this bag so you guys can check it out. And I do tell you guys how much I paid for it and everything and how I, st how I pack it and it's just amazing. Um, it didn't really come with the dust bag with like a Prada dust bag because I did purchase this through Neiman Marcus. I just wanted to mention that but it's so cute and it's so good like with my organizer and everything in here. It's just the perfect bag. Like just the bag that I needed in my collection that I don't know why it just took me forever because it's so affordable. Like I'm just so happy that I found this and I love it so much. So those were the only fashion favorites that I have. I want to move on to and now we'll move on to makeup. The first product that I wanted to talk about is this Becca lipstick. This is in the shade taupe and it's just like exactly what it says. It's just like a taupe uh, lipstick and what I love about this is that it just gives me a flush of color. I don't really need too much makeup or anything. I just kind of dab it on and it gives me like that kind of blotted lip. Like you can tell there's something on my lips but you don't know whether it's a lip gloss, whether it's you know the remainder of like a lipstick, whether it's kind of just a lip balm. It just looks so natural and that's what I just love about this product. I just feel like this is so good. It's going to last me a really long time and I think it's pretty affordable on the Becca um, on Sephora as well. If you guys are shopping the Sephora sale, you guys can just pick this up and try it out because this is just amazing. You can even make your lips look darker but I kind of like that like I like the kind of look where it looks like your lipstick is already like smudging or fading off so I don't know why I just love it. But that's what I have on my lips today and I absolutely love it. Seriously, one of my favorite products. It has replaced everything in my makeup in my like everyday bag. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. My next makeup favorite is actually this ColourPop highlighter and this one is in the shade Wisp and it's their Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like a really, really beautiful golden glow and I just love that it's perfect for my skin tone. I will just 
put some on my cheeks you can use your fingers you can use a brush this product is amazing i put it on like my no makeup makeup days and i just love how natural this looks it just looks like it's one with your skin you can even apply it before you put on your foundation and it can act as like an illuminator underneath your foundation and i love that as well i used to use the yummy cookies by hello kitty like from their hello kitty collection and i hit pan on that and then it just went bad so i decided to pick this one up and i have just been loving it i got this at ulta so i will have it linked down below and it's just like such a good product for me i'm so happy that i took it out because my skin is getting a little bit more dry and it is getting colder in la i decided to go back to the fenty beauty foundation and this one is just so amazing it didn't disappoint i used it with the flower uh, with the flower foundation. This is in the light illusion and I'm in the shade sable d1 in this one And then I am in the shade 310 for the fenty one I could go two shades darker because I am going to mexico soon and I wanted to use this in mexico But because I know that i'm going to be darker. I have to take a darker foundation So i'm just going to take my graftobian mixing palette just to kind of get my shade this product is amazing It's so good for dry skin and it just looks like one with your skin at the end of the night. It doesn't fade, it doesn't move around or anything. I just find that it's such a great product. And in the video that I featured it in, I did blot a few times, but lately I feel like because I've been using a mattifying primer, it doesn't really produce a lot of oils, I feel. So I don't know, it's just, it became like a different formula. like just a normal hydrating formula for my skin so i really love this if you guys have dry skin try it out i don't think i have to say much about this this is my stila glitter and glow and bronze bell i repurchased this i did not think that i would have to repurchase this because it lasted me such a long time but i just use it for like under my eyes i don't know if you guys can see it today can you probably maybe a little bit but I used it under my eyes and it just gives my eyes like that really open and like wide awake look and I really like that because sometimes I find that I look tired, my eyes look droopy or when I'm at work I just feel like I look dead sometimes because I don't put on a lot of makeup but I feel like lately that I've been using this. I do still do my 10 minute makeup routine but I just use this under my eyes and everyone tells me like well how long did it take you to do your makeup your makeup looks so nice i get so many compliments and it's just amazing i really love it my boss does tell me that it is a bit distracting because it's glitter and i'm not really supposed to be wearing like you know dramatic makeup or anything but it's just a little bit of glitter so i can get away with it but moving on to nails i don't know if you guys can see like how iridescent that is but i recently got this pack of iridescent strips so i recently got this off of aliexpress and i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but they all have different patterns on it and all you do is you just paint your nails. It's actually just better with gel nails, but I just did it on a, uh, a nail with clear polish because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. But it's just like an iridescent kind of like, just an iridescent color and it's so beautiful. It's like greenish, bluish, turquoise, purple. I see pink in there i see yellow i see orange i see all different colors in there and i really love this i think it would look better if i actually tried to do my nails but lately i just like haven't been trying because i'm waiting for them to grow out a little bit they have been growing pretty fast i just like haven't really been in the mood to do my nails i will have to get them done or do them myself before i leave to mexico so i am going to make sure that i get that done but lately i just like i don't really care it just hasn't been like a priority for me so i just kind of work with what i got although they do look a bit janky because they're like growing in all different directions but um yeah so that's my nail favorite how could i forget to mention a candle in an autumn favorites i can't right so this is bath and body works scent in leaves and this one says that it's made with essential oils you can see i'm already like down here and i don't know what i will use this container for but it's in the scent leaves and it's just the notes are crisp red apple gold golden nectar warm clove spice with essential oils and I just really, really love this. And it was $24. I believe I got these for half off because they were doing like a two for one deal at Bath and Body Works. And I think my aunt got the other one. So yeah, I, cause I think I made her come with me. It smells so good. It just smells like autumn. This is like the epitome of like an autumn scent. Like you cannot leave Bath and Body Works without getting leaves. And believe it or not, this is the only scent that I get for autumn time. Um, I actually purchased it in the summer. I actually purchased that scent in the summer and I just started burning it and I, would, I just like can't wait for pumpkin pie. <laughs> I'm like so excited for pumpkin pie, but I really love that scent. It's amazing. It smells so good. Um, we also leave it in the bathrooms just in case, you know, someone does their business and it needs to be freshened up in there. So I prefer using candles over like those disposable scent, uh, those disposable like sprays or like, you know, things like that. So anyway, 
I just really like that candle. I also really love my Nespresso machine. I am just so obsessed with it. I drink coffee like all the time now. Every morning, every time I get home from work, I'll just have a decaf. Before I go to bed, I have a decaf ice latte and I just can't get enough of it. Like I love it so much and I'm so happy. I definitely want to gift some people an espresso machine but I'm not really sure if they would know how to use it because it does take a lot more effort like you have to froth your milk you have to um, that's basically it but um, I don't know I feel like some people don't really like to take that extra time and they just prefer like the Keurig and just pouring like I don't know almond milk or something with the coffee but I don't know I just feel like frothy milk is just so good and it's just my favorite so my Nespresso machine has definitely been my favorite as well and then second to last my iPad I could not forget about my iPad this is just the case that I have on it right now I also have another one that folds over for travel because that one's good to kind of sit up and watch videos and everything but this one is just one that I like taking to like the cafes with me um, if I'm just going out to the grocery store or something I just take this and then I have like my list and everything here or if I just want to go somewhere and just work for a few hours whether it's like at the library or something I like just taking it like this with me so I love my iPad I have the 11 inch pro and I don't know exactly when this came out I think this is like the newest one it's been so good to me I have the second generation of the Apple pencil it just works amazing um, I think one of my favorite things to do on here is kind of plan my videos and also have my agenda on here because it's just so crucial for me to see everything that I have to do. So yeah, I just really love this because you can add pages in between your weekly uh, planner just so you can have like notes or something or if you want to take notes for something then you know that it's right there and it's close to and it's close to like your weekly calendar. So having my iPad as a planner has just been so helpful for me. It's so easy to erase things. It's so easy to rewrite, move uh, different text and everything. So I just really have been loving that and Another thing that I also do on my iPad is I think I mostly use my iPad as an agenda which in retrospect it's a really expensive agenda but um, I wanted to get it mostly for traveling because I was so tired of bringing my laptop everywhere with me I think when I go to Mexico I won't be bringing my laptop at all because I um, uh, I don't know I don't know it might be heavy but I'm just looking forward to only bringing my iPad because it's all I really need okay so the final thing that I wanted to talk about is Avi 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 it's this this girl here so this is my Neverfull GM I really don't like wearing it open I don't know I just feel like it's too big when it's open but I love the shape of this tote um, because I just love how it kind of just is it looks like a what's what's that shape I'm not good with shapes um, I like that it's like shorter on the top and then wider at the bottom and then you can just cinch it in to make it even smaller and your laptop will actually fit perfectly just straight up like this which is how I like it so this is usually how I wear my bag I don't really like wearing it too open unless I have to take like my water bottle and like a, just a bunch of shit with me which I try not to but I have been loving this bag so much and then it's easier to clip as well if you guys just clip it here and it's like secured and like who's gonna like go through your bag you know like right behind you so i love this baby and she is just my darling my darling sweet angel when she gets even darker i'm definitely gonna get her fixed because i don't like the neverfull with like a really dark vachetta so um yeah that's pretty much all that i have to say i hope that you guys enjoyed leave me your favorites down below i love you so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye